I greet my viewers, we will now have a liberal message from Sasha Ausenden, uh, liberal politics like Mermin Akhnevichian. Yes, uh, I want to quote, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, outcry of Umbridge, you know, on part of one of a convicted, uh, American organized criminal, John Gatti, who called, uh, his, uh, assassin, uh, Bravano a red. But better he should call him Democrat. <laughs> because the Democrats actually will fight for, uh, against organized crime as well. Uh, against organized crime, narco mafia, and, uh, uh, public corruption. Democrats will fight very hard against, uh, uh all that evil, all the social evil, uh, that actually plagues, uh, unfortunately, uh, American political life. Uh, as a result of this, uh, political corruption, I, I believe that, uh, um, Los Angeles mayor, Antonio Villaragosa, Unfortunately, uh, he decided to recant everything that Democrats ever, uh, or, uh, tried to bring, uh, to, you know, to political life, you know. He decided to, uh, in his recent speech, uh, uh, he lined up his chief fireman, you know, uh, faceless fireman, and, uh, and uh, his chief, uh, uh, police officer, uh, Mr. Beck, that he borrowed from another city, from out of town. <laughs> He decided to actually, uh, uh, to show that he gonna, uh, balance the budget, the city budget, on the best of working class Americans, on working class, uh, Angelinos, you know. This outrageous. It is very undemocratic, I believe, uh, Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa, uh, who claimed he, he like, uh, he used to take an umbrage, in spite of being, uh, kind of, uh, uh, fixed skull, you know. Uh, he actually uh, decided to, uh, uh, to, you know, to uh, to cut down labor, healthcare, uh, and uh, <coughs> to make silly, uh, to do a tough decision. He want to do. He didn't want to come uh, to become into progressive policy. Instead, he want to uh, to do tough decision like uh, cutting down labor. He, he decided to, uh, cut down his office expenses 8%, but he never wants to cut down his own, uh, wage, egregious wages. But he's trying to rip off, uh, Angelinos. And he's also, uh, city council member rip off Angelinos with very egregious, outrageous wages. $178,000, uh, 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 per annual basis. Which actually sounds like a rip off to me. Uh, I believe May Antonio Veragosa is recanted from, uh, uh, Democratic policy and, uh, he actually sold out to Republicans, not to Democrats, uh, and he actually, he is the chief officer, uh, chief financial officer, uh, uh, well, actually, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Manuel, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, what is, um, his chief, uh, his chief financial officer, mm, I don't remember, I can't recall his name, unfortunately, maybe recall it later. Uh, decided to actually uh, cut down uh, uh, labor wages, and uh, according to KPCC uh, radio station uh, report, uh, Mayor was decided to cut down wa- uh, cut down labor, uh, uh, cut down 600 uh, police uh, uh, police uh, vacancies, you know, police jobs, you know, and uh, I I believe that uh, uh, police union should actually take some action, you know. We should go on strike or stuff like that because I was very looks he had uh police jobs, you know. And uh our sources like Los Angeles Times mentions only two hundred twenty three uh jobs will be lost uh as mayor Los Angeles Mayor Tony Villarosa decided to conduct reactionary politics of selling out uh, uh to narco mafia, allowing to sell uh half of the Holy Marijuana in the city of Los Angeles. Uh, allowing to uh, those uh, so-called medical marijuana, Wolf and Shipskins, so-called cooperatives, medical marijuana cooperatives, uh, rip off Angelinos big time, uh, because those medical marijuana uh, uh, dispensary, they charge uh, Angelinos about $200 per one ounce of dope. Uh, but actually, uh, uh, with Mayor Veragosa, he's only uh, uh, has he, he here of those right-wing extremists, neo-fascists, and uh, uh, he does want, want to uh, hear to to left this to the to liberal Democrat like I am, and his officer refused even to contact me, you know, uh, in most mean-spirited way. And I believe that Mayor Antonio Veragosa 
he actually lost his mind, uh, finally, you know, because he was professing how he b became in in infantile. He feel like 30 year old, he said in his speech, in spite of being 55 year old guy. A man, you know, feels like um, 30, uh, 30 year old, it means his mental age is uh, about 25 years uh, <coughs> younger when he is a uh, chronological age of 55 or something, or about 55 year, years old. So therefore, Mandarin Vergosa is a severely infantile person in that case. And if I were uh, his place, I wouldn't have uh, pub uh, pub publicized uh, uh, my own foibles and uh, shortcomings to the American public, you know, not to disgrace myself. Actually, such an indecent attitude of uh, Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaragosa, you know, simple from Antonio, Mayor Antonio Villaragosa has serious mental problems. Uh, if he becomes so infantile. So that man that denied actually that uh, claim that uh, the city might become uh, really insolvent, you know, fiscally, financially insolvent. Um, and actually, he claimed that uh, he can actually <coughs> cut down police jobs and allow uh, narco mobs to sell uh, half of narcotic marijuana in the city of Los Angeles. Uh, uh, under the disguise of uh, medical marijuana dispensaries, uh, will actually make him the most uh, maps uh, mayor of the city of Los Angeles I ever seen in my lifetime. He uh, <coughs> I believe mean, mayor is a corrupt official, and the sooner he resigns, the better service he makes to the city of, uh, to his fellow Angelinos. And also believe that 15% uh, of Californians voted uh, to reject Proposition 19 last year. Uh, when actually, um, according to a MSNBC report, as a, as a <coughs> proposition 19, legalization of medical, so-called medical marijuana, <coughs> was rejected by a uh, vast majority, not vast, a relative majority of uh, Californians. About 56% of Californians rejected proposition 19. Therefore, uh, marijuana remains illegal in the state of California, and I believe it is uh, still illegal. Under the Control Substances Act of the uh, United States of America, uh, been uh, ratified by U.S. Congress and signed by uh, pre U.S. President in 1974. And I believe that uh, the sooner Mayor Veragos has stepped down as a corrupt mercenary of narco mafia with scoundrels of a politician, the better off the uh, American public will be. And I believe, uh, maybe, and I uh, dare say, you know, I dare this scoundrel, you know, Mayor Antonio Veragos, uh, you know, Taken up our umbrage at me, and uh, from me, you know, and uh, he's a coward who refuses even to talk about raising taxes against all manufacturing uh, uh, cooperation, which I want very much to come and mention. And I wanted also, uh, as 49 percent of our uh, Angelinos voted for this measure, uh, failed measure, uh, all uh, to raise taxes about one dollar seventy-six cents against it. Uh, uh, oil producing manufacturers in the county of Los Angeles. And 49% of engineers still want that uh, um, raising tax against those uh, oil producing manufacturers, which raise prices and rip off engineers at the gas pump uh, every day, charging at least $4.13 uh, per each gallon of oil, of uh, gasoline, excuse me, retail gasoline. Uh, what I believe is uh, actually social justice. A man that doesn't want any social justice. Instead, he wants to balance the city budget deficit of $200 million on the backs of working class people, Angelinos, who work for the city of Los Angeles, who make their uh, uh, living, you know, by working uh, as police officers, uh, police officers, uh, uh, support personnel like 911, dispatchers, and stuff like that. And uh, Mayor Tolio Veragosa wants to sacrifice the safety uh, of uh, Angelino as he sold out to the narco mafia we probably supply him with harmful narcotic marijuana in exchange for his uh, corrupt services. And I believe the federal government should investigate May Antonio Veragosa on the subject of corruption and should indict him for criminal conspiracy to distribute harmful narcotic marijuana in the city of Los Angeles, which is actually a legal charge, uh, federal charges. And uh, if K KPCC uh, <coughs> Narco Marx want to say that uh, state senators will, will actually uh, shield uh, Narco Marx from federal prosecution, which is sedition, actually, and subversive agenda.
I might say that PCC is run by narcomopsis and uh, subversive elements, which actually try to to do sedition. And federal government, like drug enforcement agency, shouldn't actually, should step up a law enforcement operation and should close down all medical marijuana dispensers in the city of Los Angeles. The city of Los Angeles is run by narcomopsis like uh, uh, Antonio Villaragosa and with his scoundrels, uh, uh, city council members, who actually... <coughs> Issued the city ordinance 181.530 in year 2010, uh, uh, January 2010, which actually uh, legalized willful sheepskin, so called medical marijuana dispensers, dope dealers, uh, who rip off Angeles every day and make people suffer the indignity of disease and uh, poverty. And it should stop, and narcomafia should stop. And I believe that the uh, federal government should do everything it's, uh, it's possible to close down those so called medical marijuana dispensers. And I believe President, President uh, Obama should prove that he is a Democrat, he, he uh, follows the will of the Californian public at least to reject Proposition 19, proper legalization of marijuana. Unless President Obama decides to, um, you know, um, uh, decide to uh, run the country with an iron hand and decide to uh, shut down those medical marijuana dispensers, he won't see in the second term uh, presidency. But I believe that President Obama should uh, shut down all those medical marijuana dispensaries uh, in uh, California, especially in Los Angeles. And unless he does that, he, he will lose the election. It's my prediction, and I firmly predict it. President Obama was so many times, he was the Oswald cocaineist, and so many times was actually uh, was uh, playing the hand of a narcomopsis uh, by, not, uh, by not ordering a drug enforcement agency to conduct. Uh, um, Close down operations uh, of those medical marijuana dispensaries. So that uh, President Obama might have suffered the consequences of losing his uh, political career and losing his uh, reputation. Uh, and actually, uh, I was very much uh, to see President Obama re elected and a uh, Democrat, and uh, I wish him re elected because uh, I believe that Democrats are friends of working class people, that's why. Uh, but uh, if actually uh, President Obama should actually I believe he still has the strength, you know, to shut down what was called medical marijuana dispenser, especially after Proposition 19, legalization of marijuana, had been uh, rejected by the 56% of Californians, by the relative majority of Californian public, according to a MSNBC report, at least. I can tell you frankly. Uh, and I believe that uh, uh, it's worthwhile fighting against a harmful substance, like a medical, uh, so-called uh, harmful narcotic as marijuana, because marijuana can cause a loss of inhibition, and hedonia, and it can cause disruption of visual spatial orientation, cause loss of uh, short-term and long-term memory, cause number of diseases, marijuana can, like any other narcotic can exacerbate, any mental or physical disease a person has in itself, can cause acute state of any mental or physical ailment. It's my hypothesis, and I believe most uh, scientists will try to test it at least once in their lives. They will do something progressive. And actually, uh, I firmly urge uh, U.S. President uh, Obama to prove he's a Democrat. <laughs> yeah, uh, in the way John uh, uh, Gotti once was using what word read. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, fight against organized crime as hard as possible, possibly humanely possible. And I urge President Obama to uh, immediately shut down all those called medical marijuana dispensaries, you know, to save uh, uh, Californians and other people, uh, you know, uh, people in other states from a uh, huge uh, spread of diseases caused by marijuana. Always will be massive riots, and uh, President Obama won't like it at all. Uh, and actually, it was cause of riots and spread of narcotics. Uh, that was the cause of riots in uh, California too, in, and not only in California. And I hope that uh, President Obama will find enough political uh, wisdom and uh, political smarts of a Democrat, you know, to shut down uh, medical marijuana dispensary after the rejection of legalization of marijuana, uh, rejection of Proposition 19 in year 2011. And I urge President Obama to act swiftly and. Uh, uh, you know, and uh, expediently. Uh, unfortunately, he does become uh, available to anybody who asks him, even call him, because uh, 
But uh, I hope that President Obama will actually will follow my advice and to shut down all so-called medical marijuana dispensaries uh, or the drug enforcement agency to shut it down by his executive order. Uh, immediately within a certain limit of time. Uh, and I believe President Obama should do everything in his uh, power to follow my advice, because President Obama hopefully uh, um, so has recently uh, you know, um, supported a comprehensive ban against harmful narcotic marijuana and considered his own uh, substance abuse, substance abuse of cocaine, or harmful narcotic cocaine. Uh, a tragic mistake. And he called tragic mistake and called him, uh, caused him, uh, which caused him uh, to become anhedonic. So that uh, in his book, uh, Odessa of Hope, President Obama mentioned that uh, uh, he actually lost the ability to experience pleasure with food while eating anything, you know. For, uh, loss of uh, complaint or loss of taste in his mouth. It was, uh, well, um, I believe that at least uh, this one, uh, issue of uh, how for the marijuana shouldn't drive us apart, should become a more unifying issue where Democrats and Republicans can come together to fight narcotic to substance abuse and to shut down all the so called medical marijuana dispensaries in the state of California. Uh, as a progressive Democrat, I promise myself, you know, uh, to introduce comprehensive ban against harmful narcotic marijuana. Uh, actually, uh, if I get elected uh, this June 5th, so if you want to shut down the so-called medical marijuana dispensaries, vote for me, uh, and I will save uh, the indignity of uh, substance abuse, or being a substance abuser.